so just unboxed it and this is what was inside I have a nice little instruction manual here just tells you you know to wash it in warm water before you use it the first time um, just to make sure you preheat your oven it gives you some of the times to cook different things and then some instructions seems pretty cut and dry pretty simple the most important thing is just I'm gonna I like my fries to be nice and crispy when they come out so a little thing that came in it just shows their other products but you get comes with the the wire tray and then this is called the cookie sheet and it comes with this it says no extra grease or anything's required so that's good that's the whole point right it has these little um, things in the bottom where it's going to stand up just goes basically just like that and fries go in here or whatever you could probably put fish sticks in there um, I would think anything that normally goes on a cookie sheet um, obviously not cookies because it would go through but like french fries fish sticks you know um, those chicken patties chicken fingers anything like that that's frozen I would think would be fine to put on here I'll find out let me see hold on there's some pictures here let's look what they got on there I everything I've been saying Chicken fingers, <laughs> fish sticks, that's pretty funny. Great minds think alike. It's like some cheese, cheese fingers there. Onion rings. And it's, what is that? Bananas? I can't tell. Anyhow, so yeah. And this guy that's always trying to sell stuff. I actually bought the, uh, he's the guy that I, I bought the um, pressure cooker that I used from, from his infomercial. So yeah. All right, so I'm gonna get some fries in here and we will see what's up and see how they come out. One thing I am noticing is when I usually put my French fries on the cookie sheet, I have them usually flat. But I'm noticing in this picture, it looks like you don't have to put them flat because this is not quite as big as a normal cookie sheet that I have, it's smaller. So it's actually gonna be little tater tots we're doing. So I'm going to go ahead and obviously I'm going to have to put them all on there and not flat out. So that'll be interesting to see if they all come out crispy because they all won't be on a flat surface getting cooked. So hopefully they will be crispy. All right, well here's what they look like after about only like well, 20 minutes. They're pretty crispy on the top. Looks like they're crispy all around. So, I would say this does what it says it's supposed to do. And on 425, and so this has been about 20 minutes. Um, it looks like they're all cooked inside there pretty well. So, yeah, I would say I would like this product. I would recommend it. Cool. I better just try the fish sticks and the cheese sticks and everything else. But should have the same effect. Now cheese sticks might drip through because I know how those pop open sometimes but um you might want to put some tin foil on the thing after. Anyhow yeah I would say this is a go. I got mine at Walmart I think it was $19.99 um, by the kitchen well not by the kitchen stuff it was by the uh, but like the, the kitchen towels and stuff like that is where it was in the pots and pans. So anyhow, but yeah, this is, I definitely would think, uh, I would recommend this. So go get it, people. Talk to you later.